Don't like folk wandering around here. Oh yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Uh, Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. Like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and groats for the paupers, meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he... Uh... Supervisors. Exactly! I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry then, some other bloke's already after it. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. Was just told some brave fool turned up. When do you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in the shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's lying in there where I found it. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the body. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. Thanks. So long. Not the marks of a garcane or a flutter. all sucked out. A lesser vampire? <gasps> Seems like it had lost some strength was sneaking along the shoreline. Tracks end here. Ought to look for prints on the other side. Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. Was asked to hunt down a giant who turned out to be a forest troll and some bandits. 
Bandits. Came as a package with the troll. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kinda in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? Join you for that later. Wait up for me. Fine, but try not to take too long. Know where the supervisor has his office? Yeah, had a chat with the guardsman outside it. See you there. Let's collect our reward. So? What do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor and get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Karadin? Talk. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Karadin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off, before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Keridin? Asking you for the last time. Guards! To the dungeon with them! Oh, you oh come on! This guy's more trouble than the Yakimara. Karadin's disappeared. I swear. The others too. Uh, I only know of Vien. What about Vien? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. You crazy? What the hell are you doing? I can explain everything. More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. I'll tell you everything there. The Tavern VN frequents? Yeah, see you later. All right, high time you explain some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Oh, he fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of Elander. Aiden had been hired to kill it. He was a witcher from the School of the Cat. As far as I remember, the ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the School of the Cat to deal with. 
They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the Duke's courtiers had designs. Weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden. Murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And Yad Karadin? The assassin's leader. And the one to deal the mortal blow. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy. Just your help. We have to talk to Vienne. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. Vienne. What do you want? We want to see Yad Karadin. <laughs> now why would I help you? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is he's changed. Caradin's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Who else was in Caradin's band? Aside from me, Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund, but they've scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tretigal, Hammond to Skellige, and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. Well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to then. This Sleaze. Where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresigor, the kind rich men frequent. Or suck information out of them. And she sells it. Name of this brothel? The Black Lily. Selyse always did have horrible taste. We need information about Hammond. Caradin's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh whence he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. What about you? What's your story? Scoyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces, but I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cunt Selyse. You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Selyse. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... Do whatever you think's right, Lambert. Not here to preach morals. <laughs> Do what you think is right? Only one thing worse than cold-blooded murder. Hypocrisy. Informers, racist snitches! Vienne, bloody hell, what is it? They've come for me, Varen! I told you someone would, sooner or later! Nessa tear! Shit. Kings!
You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige. Try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Salis. Lambert, let's talk about this. No, let's not. This is one of those situations, serious situations, when you don't ask unnecessary questions and just help your friend. Where will we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. My dad doesn't like it all that much. Slower. What do you want? I'm looking for Hammond. What for? Business. He prays at the chapel on the hill this time of day. If it's slaves you're looking to buy, you'll have to wait till he's done. He's praying? Wouldn't have thought him a God-fearing man from what I've heard about him. Hmm. Yet it's not something that would surprise any man who knows him. Another snoop. You know the drill. Come on. Given me no choice. Gods of the sea, I've never begrudged you new gifts. Grant me another victory, so I can make you another offering of me loot. Don't mind me. Fuck, what now? Heard you were in Keridan's band. Fucking say what you want. Come on, spit it out, you arse-licking bastard. I'm looking for Yad Keridan. And just who the hell are you? A friend of a friend. I'm looking for Keridan. Thought maybe we could make some sort of deal. What? Our business robbing some Novigrad pricks the wrong way? Plowing guilds. Come on, what are you waiting for? Kill the fucker! Come on, come closer. Oh. 
moment to get ya. What the hell took you? Pretty likely Keratin lives in Novigrad, and he never severed ties with Hammond. They're actually in business together. Hmm. Learned something too. He trades in, uh, live goods on the sly. Owns a ship called the Pearl of the Coast. Runs between here and Skellige. Changed his name, too, to Roland Truger, who officially is a respected Novigrad trader and philanthropist. Has a residence in Gildorf. Anything on Salis? Hmm. Well, didn't have you there to stand up for her. All right, let's pay Keratin a visit. I think I know how to get in. I got a plan. If your plan doesn't include dealing with an escort of guardsmen, best revise it. Calm now. Let them start it. You're expected. Come in. Make yourselves at home. He's a witcher. Very true. Allow me to introduce my wife, Letitia, and my two little tots. You know who I am, and I've heard of you. You've been asking many questions about me. That always draws my attention. What school do you come out of? That of the cat. So few of us left. Witchers can't have children. But they can have wards, or take in a woman along with her children, embrace them as their own. I could understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop at dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. Remains to be seen. My friend needs to talk to you. Lads, take the children and Letitia and leave us. Our guests wish to speak to me. I'm all ears. Talk to him, Geralt. If I do, first word he says to me, I'll lose it and throttle the fucker. Your wife know who you were? We are thoroughly honest with one another, harbor no secrets. She prays for me each day. You know what? I think it's working. Fucking hell. Relax, Lambert. I confessed all just before we pledged to marry one another. Began a new life that day. 
with a clean slate. Nice place you got. As it turned out, I have a flair for enterprise. Now I have coin enough to provide my family with the finer things in life. With some left over for philanthropy. Miss Marabella's institute does not scorn small donations. Neither does the city's Widows and Orphans Relief Fund, amongst others. Remember Aiden? A witcher. Murdered in Elander. Guessing the killers were paid well. I remember him as I remember all the others, with the deepest regret. Yet Aiden was different in a way. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. What's your version of this story? Aiden had accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Duke's daughter. He took the coin, bungled the job, then left once the girl passed on. You lie. We were not to kill him. We were debt collectors. He'd spent the coin already, so we demanded his swords. When he refused, tempers flared. Vienne, positioned as a sniper, lost her nerve. Hit Aiden square in the eye. Later, she devised her own version of the story. To silence her guilt, I expect. I've heard enough. What now? You've changed. You have. Forgiveness. It's my sole aim now. You're buying this bullshit? Bastard's lying his ass off! Do what you want, Lambert. Your friend, your vengeance. Been waiting a long time for this. And I don't aim to die. Thanks for your help, Geralt. You're welcome. Wanna talk about it? No. See you later. Someday. So long, Lambert. <laughs>